Okay, so it's Thanksgiving weekend. My in-laws are over. A few more of them came today and I told them if you want to have some fun, take the old truck and go into the forest. I told them where the entrance was, around the back. And apparently they got the truck stuck and broke the axle. It is a really old truck. I really, really need that truck. I really need it to get the wood out of the forest. I don't know anybody who ever follows me knows how much I need that truck. But uh, I'm curious to see. I'm going to go see how they got lost and what they did. Okay, so clearly you can see the path here. There's no bushes, no green. Oh, first problem. There's a tree down. Not a big tree, but there's a tree down. So that would have stopped them from going this way, which is probably the way they would have went if this tree wasn't down. This tree's, I didn't know this tree was down. This is new. So, so that means they went this way. So let's see where they ended up. Let's see, anybody see it? Oh, I see a white spot out in the middle of the forest. But, okay, I see tire marks, could be old ones. But, if you stayed on the path, you should be good. Okay, so the path goes that way. Oh, there's the truck right there. There's the truck right there. So the path goes this way, and the path goes that way from here. Because I got, it basically goes around the whole forest and and through the middle. Now, where they are, there's definitely no path. So let's see which way they went. So they, looks like they would have came this way. And for some reason they turned over there. They turned into there. I don't know why. Oh, because they wanted to turn around. That's what they said. They actually could have, they actually, if they, they don't know this. Guys, if you're watching this, if you went straight, you totally would have made it out here. Totally would have made it out. But I can see you cut through here. Let's see, broken branches, broken branches. Okay, so you came through here. This is clearly not the path. And they caught, caught up in something and the axle apparently is broken. Okay, oh. Okay, so. A big log. Big fat log. And let's see, let's see, let's see the axle. Let's get some light in here. Let's see what they did. Let's see what, oh yeah, there it goes. Axle's broken in half. Okay. So tomorrow, the adventure is, we're gonna have an adventure tomorrow because we're going to pull this out. We're gonna get the tractor and try and pull this out. But you know what? I'm looking at this here. The piece of wood's gonna really be really hard to get out. But that, I have a neighbor who welds. And I got a feeling that I could probably, if we can get this out, I can take that off, take it to him, and he'd probably just weld it right back together. That would be my guess. Because uh, I think the axle is going to be hard to find because there's not a lot of trucks this size. This is a mid-sized truck. And there's not a lot of them in the junkyards. But I think that can be welded back. And if not, then I'll have to figure something else out. This truck is like super old. It's like 25 years old, but it's perfect for out in the forest. Anyways, so... That's the fun of having the in-laws over. Because they decided to go off the path. <laughs> they, they, this, they don't realize this is not a 4x4. Four four. This, this is a Sonoma. It's not a real truck. It's a wannabe truck. This is for wannabes. Because that's what I am. A wannabe farmer. A wannabe cowboy. Um... So let's see where we would go from here. Let's see. I think we'd go straight. I always walk 
If I go off the path, I always lock it first to make sure I can make it. See what's underneath, clear any big branches out. Okay, so we're back on the path. So this is a, a rougher, definitely a rougher section of the path, but it's doable. That's doable. I've bush hogged this and I've driven through here. You know, this path is here.